point FK here today for another video. If you guys do end up enjoying, please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe. But yeah, you can probably hear a difference in the sound of my voice. That is because I have got a new microphone, I have got the Razer Siren Elite, and I have got a pop filter with it. And now uh, you can tell I've got a pop filter because this is what it sounds like without. And obviously, this is what it sounds like with a pop filter. So obviously, today we're actually doing an inventory showcase. But... Before we get into that, I'm going to start the major. So we've got the team picking challenge. So I'm going to obviously go for G2 because I know G2. They're most likely going to win. And Navi over uh, Virtuous Pro. Uh, but today we got these. I've bet on these ones because of. Well, the ones that I didn't bet on were Nip and Counter Logic. Just because, and I don't know why I bet on Luminosity. I think Luminosity might win uh, because they did win against Mouse, but I don't think they're going to do that good against Nip. But yeah, this is my inventory now. Um, don't like uh, think it's a shit inventory just because of what I've got in there. It did cost a lot of money, so therefore it's a lot different uh, because I. Like, I don't want to spend so much money on it, um, so this is actually my current inventory. So, I've got my bayonet rust coat right here. Um, Battle Scarred, obviously, and it's got the tag of Beware of Tetanus. Or Tetanus, I'd, I'd say Tetanus. Obviously, because it's rust, and when you get an infection with rust, you can get Tetanus, which is a disease. So now we've got my magic stock, which is basically my um, Orp Asimov with Battle Scarred condition. This is, it looks a bit Battle Scarred, but... Excuse me. It's got the Kenny S sticker on it as well, which I think is pretty cool to be added in. Obviously, it's got Kenny S is an Orpa, but it could be a lot better since Kenny S isn't on top game right now, but uh, that's my Orp Asimov. Now, I did buy this Aquamarine Revenge, and then I completely regretted it straight off, but it was only £6, so uh, I went and ahead after buying this and seeing that it wasn't a worthy purchase. I went ahead and bought myself a fuel injector for £25, and this one completely looks a lot better and makes my AK um, look a lot different compared to what it used to be, which was just a normal Elite build, which I think. And then, as I use both M4, A4, and M4, A1S, um, for this one I bought a Hyper Beast. I've got the field testing condition. It doesn't look too bad. Still looks in very good condition on the body paint. But the suppressor, it has got the field tested areas around it. But otherwise, it's a completely fine. It's a nice skin, and it didn't cost me too much either. So, yeah, um, I've got the Bullet Rain, obviously, field tested condition, a bit worse because the A4 is a bit worse in how it is seen as in skin condition, but otherwise it's a nice skin, but I hardly ever, I would hardly ever use it due to the fact of um, not really using the A4s anymore. Also, we have got a USPS kill confirmed. I was debating with what uh, USPSs I should go for. But I ended up getting the kill confirmed. I think this is in Battle Scar. Yeah, Battle Scar condition. Doesn't look Battle Scar whatsoever. It's a very nice float on the gun. So, yeah, um, uh, it's not too bad. It's got a Guardian sticker on it, but I don't not mind about that too much. I can't really scratch the sticker, I don't think. No, I, oh, wait, yeah, I can, but I don't really want to put an indent on the gun itself. And I think the sticker looks fine as it is. Last but not least, we've got the Glock 18 Water Elemental. One of the best Glock skins there possibly is. It's only in a field tested condition, I think. Yeah, field tested. So, that's why I didn't go too hard on the Glock 18, because there's not much. But, um, yeah, uh, I'll be doing a showcase of all the skins in a lighting after this. And I'll see you guys after that. Pick it back. I am going to put the prices of everything on the screen as well. So, you've got my... Beware of Tetanus, my Bayonet Rust Coat Battle Scarred. I think it looks quite nice. Obviously, in different lighting it looks better. But I just really personally like the Bayonet Flip. That's why I chose it personally. Um, but also, we have got my Glock 18 Water Elemental. Uh, it looks quite nice. Um, it fulfilled tested conditions, so 
yeah this is the bayonet as it looks quite nice as well as just doing your normal swings and when I like doing it I like to flip it like that some people like to do it differently but I just prefer to do it like that because it pulls it out quicker and it makes it look nicer when you pull it out but also I'm gonna go to the AK next I'll be right back this is my AK 47 fuel injector it looks quite nice on the body paint uh, in the lighting we have got on this map as well it looks very nice uh, the price will be on the screen uh, as of now so yeah I'm quite happy with this purchase it is very nice as well as my knife uh, but I really like the, the way the AK-47 fuel injector looks even though it's out of the new wildfire cases and it would have gone down in price um, but I thought if this would look nice and field tested so I think it's either field tested or minimal, minimal I can't really remember but I will be back with my AWP. Alright guys I've now got my AWP Asimov my magic stock as it has been name tagged it looks quite nice uh, as well with um, the way it is for battle scar condition in my opinion um, could be better but I like it with a full um, what's it called uh, body paint I don't like the black scope but this looks quite nice and when you flip out with a knife and then flip back in it looks quite nice but the cock is actually quite battle scarred you can see where it is battle scarred but I don't really mind that so yeah guys I'll be back with the M4s. This, this is my USPS kill confirmed. Um, I think it's quite nice. It's a really nice body paint. Uh, it's really good for battle scar conditions. So that's why I brought it. I mean the Guardian sticker does kind of ruin it. But it's completely fine. It doesn't look battle scarred on the play inside whatsoever. So that's what I'm happy about. But the skin looks quite nice in general. Uh, the price will be up on the screen now. But that's what it's like reloading. It looks quite nice as normal normal USPS reloading. But the skin does look very nice otherwise. But I'll see you guys for the M4s. Back with the final gun, the M4A1S Hyper Beast. And this is going to look so good. Look at that. It looks so nice in the lighting. Even though it's bas uh, field tested, it still looks good as hell. The stock is nice. I think if I increase my FOV. No, my FOV is at the highest, but it does look gorgeous in the way it is, so that's why I like it. Got the normal reload, looks nice. You got the FR. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, obviously please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace as well. Actually, before I go, do you prefer the sound quality of my current mic or do you prefer the sound quality of my old mic or with or without the pot filter? I prefer with. This is currently without. As you can hear, it's a massive difference when it is with the pot filter. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful and safe day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.